For the past month, Shiv Pillay and his wife Vitu have been selling coconut water to earn a living. It is a new endeavour for the couple who are expecting their first child in September. Shiv had been working in the car showroom nearby when Delhi's regional government imposed a lockdown which forced all shops selling non-essential items to close. It doesn't compare to what I earned earlier, but the company won't give the salary and we have to run our house, pay our rent and take care of our daily expenses. You can imagine how cash-trapped we are that my wife comes here to help me in her condition. Shiv used to earn $275 a month. Now his earnings depend on how many coconuts he sells. This is the Kise Kahania NGO, which has been helping Shiv and Vitu with food rations and many others who've lost their jobs. Research by one of India's leading universities, Azim Premji, found that lockdowns in the past year have pushed more than 230 million Indians into poverty, which is defined as earning less than $5 a day. But this year's restrictions are unlike the nationwide lockdown last year, which saw a complete shutdown of all industries. Factories in many states have been allowed to remain open this year with limited staff. This clothing export business has been operating with 65% of its workforce. We have the labor and uh, I mean, they're secure that they have the job. Because of the partial lockdown, it has been really helpful that we are still maintaining everything. Uh, the orders we are executing, we are getting good orders. Economists say India's government should focus on helping those who need it the most. So the government has been doing a lot to uh, help the business side. The first and the most important thing is to ensure that the people who are the most affected or the most badly affected need to be given uh, a way out by uh, delivering food or any help in kind and also delivering some cash to them. Shiv and V2 hope Shiv will be rehired when the car shop reopens, but for now, they and millions of others like them are doing whatever they can to survive. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.